Ghana's people of Biafra has asked its members and supporters of its detained leader Nandikano, living in Southeast, to buy court, social, and economic activities on Tuesday. The sit at home on January, according to the group, is to allow the Biafra agitators give solidarity to Kano, who will appear before Justice Binta in a call of the Federal High Court, Abuja, on that day. IPOP, however, clarified that there will be no seat at home on Wednesday and Thursday, saying that we don't want to compound the pains of our people, hence, we will limit the seat at home to only January 18th. In a statement by the group spokesman, a man powerful, on Saturday, IPOP also reminded its followers that another count, another court in Abia State was expected to deliver a judgment on Wednesday over Kano's fundamental human right as filed by a special counsel, Barrister Aloy Ejimako. The statement reads, We are the indigenous people of Biafra under the command of Mazi Nandikano, our leader. Following our leader's upcoming court proceedings on the 18th, 19th, and 20th, 20th of January 2022, next week. We wish to remind dear friends that there will be only seat at home on 18th of January and not 19th and 20th of January. In keeping with our uh, vowed solidarity with our leader, the entire Biafra land will be on lockdown only on January 18th for obvious reasons. Dear friends should understand that 19th January is the judgment day in the suit by our leader against the federal government, which is pending before an Umuahia High Court. So there will be no seat at home on that day. Again, we don't want to compound the pains of our people, hence, we will limit the seat at home to only January 18th. Biafrans and residents of Biafran are free to go about their businesses without molestation on 19th and 20th January. Anybody found enforcing non-existent Monday seat at home on the 17th, 19th and 20th is a criminal and must treat as such. IPOP leadership have given order and that order is what signed. Everybody must be careful because these waves that is coming will consume many and every principal of IPOP mostly the coordinators must know that it will be bounced on their heads if they don't checkmate the activities of members and call them to order. IPOP is not village or, or social club where everybody will behave untoward to people like Curtis. It is on the table and to the knowledge of IPOP leadership how some principal officers were encouraging evils in IPOP without minding the repercussions and consequences, but we want to make categorically known to them that it will come back to them or her that encourage evil against his or her own fellow human beings. For clarity's sake, we reiterate that there will be no seat at home on January 19th and 20th. Nobody is expected to interfere with either human or vehicular movements in those days under any guise any detector or agent of darkness caught obstructing people's activities in biafra land on january 19th and 20th in the name of enforcing seat at home we regret his or our own actions we realize that that some people and traitors are trying to create confusion about these days and dishing false information and propaganda trying to create confusion in Biafra land. IPOP never declared seat at home on the 19th and 20th of January 2022. Therefore, we want all Biafrans to go to their normal businesses on these days without fear. Anybody issuing order for seat at home on the 19th and 20th of January is not a member of IPOP. Such persons are working against the interests of our leader and the entire struggle for independence. They should be disregarded. For the 
um, take the time. IPUB is under one central command and control and does not have parallel or functional, uh, functional leadership. The Directorate of State under the command of our leader, Mazin Nandikano, is in charge of the global movement of IPOP. Anybody who is not loyal to DOS is an impostor and should be disregarded. We expect our people everywhere to adhere to this directive and refuse to be misled by sad members of IPOP in Europe and America. IPOP remains unshakable, built and root rooted on the rock and will remain so until the freedom for Biafra is fully achieved. All right. Hmm. The truth is that even before they declared it, people in the Southeast have decided to sit at home. In fact, we love sitting at home. IPOP should not bother. <laughs> as long as Mazin and the Kanu remain incarcerated, there we will never there will never be peace in this faith Nigeria conduct conduct a referendum now to save lives. Okay, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Dead brain everywhere. Would that release him? Lazy youth. Okay, these are Nigerians talking. The issue is that since now that IPOB is you know clarifying that they are not the one you know, forcing people to sit at home in other days, Mondays, thereabouts, and all that. Who are those who are doing that? That is the question. That is number one. Then the second question now is, <laughs> what make made what will now make us to uh, believe that after this on the 18th, that they are the same people who have been forcing Southeasterners to sit at home? We not see force them to sit at home 19th, 20th, uh, 19th to 20th of January or even to on Friday. Sorry? Yeah, okay, 19th, 20th. Okay, 20th is on Friday. Sorry about that. I don't think this is going to hug out well with some persons in the Southeast because the truth is that the whole week is going to be sit at home. People will, will sit at home. So many persons who have tried to comment after instruction like this given this and this and that, they met their end, you know, on their way, and that ends it. Some criminals are there enforcing this sit at home. Even when IPOP members are saying no, today is not sit at home or no sit at home in the south is some persons are just there forcing sit at home, you know, on the residents. That is the biggest the biggest problem people are facing. In the southeast so many leaders i'm dropping it here guys kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you very much bye for now